Hey guys, I just want to let you know that this video will contain the scene of a already processed turkey. So there may be some body parts, some blood, um, but we will not show the death of it. So this is just a little warning about this video. So that way, if this is something that you don't want to see, um, you're more than welcome to, you know, go ahead and look at one of our other videos. Uh, but I just want to let you guys know that it is a possibility that you're going to see some things and we want to make sure that you're fully aware of it. So I hope you enjoy the video of this chicken plucker at work. <laughs> All right, guys, we've been getting a lot of requests to tell us, to tell y'all um, how the uh, the uh, calming cone or killing cone has worked. We're butchering a few turkeys today, and I just wanted to show it to you. They go in upside down, the head comes out the bottom. They're kind of pretty good size. It would have been helpful to be a little bit bigger. But Amy came out with this, came up with this ingenious idea here of using a bungee cord around the tree to hold the feet up. Yeah, because they'll they'll be kicking really bad and then they flop out of it. So um, this it, works great. Yeah, it works great. So before we do anything else, we just to let you guys know, we're not going to be showing any killing. You may see a little bit of blood because we're also going to show you how our new chicken pluckers working or. Yeah, chicken plucker slash it can handle a turkey. So we're gonna Barely show you we're place. gonna show you the the little um, tips and tricks if you happen to get this kind and you want to butcher turkey. So all right, stay tuned. All right, this is my homemade scolder. It's made out of a uh, hot water tank. And put this big boy in here. I know. This is big for us. I know this isn't like the uh, big broad-breasted turkeys, but... It makes me wonder if we should even do the big broad-breasted. <laughs> we might yeah. want to stick with these guys. No, I still want to get some of the big broad-breasted next year. Yeah, but if we do that, honey, then uh, how are they going to fit in this thing? We'll butcher them before they get huge. <laughs> Oh, sorry about the wind, guys. We got, what is it, a tropical storm ETA? Ada? Is it yeah, Ada or Ada? Ada or Ada. Ada, Ada, ETA. <laughs> but, uh, it's... It's pretty windy today. No feeder bands yet, but you can tell. So I just put, put them in here until I can yank out these tail feathers pretty easy a little bit longer now you said um you put dishwasher soap in this a little bit yeah that just kind of help washes the oils off of their feathers feathers that's interesting let's that water get down to the skin it uh may not do that the greatest or you know may not make a huge difference with these turkeys or with chickens but with ducks and geese, it makes a big difference because it, it's got to get through those oil feathers. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It breaks the oils up. Yeah, see how easy that come out? That is a big bird, holy yes. cow. With this plucker, these big, huge feathers from the turkeys. Get caught up. Get caught in it and clog it up. So tip one, if you get this particular plucker, which we or will- one of its size. Oh yeah, we'll actually put the link, the Amazon link in our description below so you guys can view it. Um, but what, the last couple of turkeys, we've had to tweak it a little bit. It does work great. But with these bigger turkeys, um, we have to pull this out feathers really cool. all the wing, the long wing feathers and the long tail feathers come out. Then you need your knife and scissors. Yeah. 
Then what we do is Donald then takes the neck off all the way. I just slice down the throat. And that goes into our gut bucket. Yep, we have a gut bucket. And Donald's going to take the neck completely off. What do you want, scissors? Yep. Got the scissors. And then he's going to put that on the table. We got a little table set up. Then the next trick we learned is before you put the turkey into this plucker, take the legs off not the drumstick part but just the the feet part yeah, get the feet off of it. yep and we'll put that in our gut bucket all right then grab your scissors and your knife put them on the table Hose off? You want to hose your hands off? Yeah. Okay. All right. Next, you want to have your hose ready. Put her in. Right. You may have to do this a couple times because the feathers will get stuck. And then it's, I gotta say, this works, it's gonna work great with the chickens. Yeah, but turkeys are a different thing. We're kind of pushing it a little bit. Yeah, we're really putting this to the test. right there we got a catch bucket oh this leaves a little bit here on the it's, armpits yeah it's mainly the armpits that it doesn't really get but that's not that big of a deal why not uh, compared to the way we were doing it -wee, but yeah all right guys so we are going to go ahead and gut it and i'm going to like donald's gutting i am going to um yeah that took us from being by the time we used that hand plucker on the drill and held it up there and tried to get most of it, the feathers off of that and then had to come and get all these pin feathers off yeah it was taking us 20 25 minutes a bird to get one of these birds plucked down right now this has dropped it down to a minute yeah and we're just taking our time so you know just no rush but why donald's gutting i will go ahead and pull off the pin feathers and and get anything that's left over all right so we'll show you more later. Not bad. Hold on, let's here. Hook this. I don't want to show them. Okay, guys, here's the bird. 
not too bad. Yeah, like little I said. Little feathers here and there. Little ones. Mainly it's underneath the armpits, isn't it? If you turn wing it over. Pits. Or <laughs> wing pits. Wing pits. Turn it over. Yeah. It's this mainly in there that it doesn't get uh, 100%. 100%. But all in all, it's a not bad, you know, plucking a turkey. It sure takes it from being, you know, a 20, 30 minute job per turkey at least. Mm -hmm. And then all those little pin feathers. Yeah. To uh, a lot faster. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this one gutted up. Hey guys, if you like that video, Hit that like button, remember that bell, and subscribe. And if you want to see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.